Uh, all right, so like I said, hey, he's got some numbers. Some might find him sexy. It's Double D's sexy numbers. Uh, and on with for, for today is going to be our producer, Double D. Uh, sorry, uh, Maple Dan that with Double D. So on to you, my friend. All right, so we're at the close of May, uh, at, or the close of April, and we're in the start of May. So uh, can you pull up that uh, my graphic up, uh, Dan? Dan? Yeah, right there. So, oh. all right, here we go. So, I like to review uh, the last month, the end of the month. I like to review uh, the pre previous month and forecast uh, the coming month. Uh, so, obviously, we're going to May. So, here's going to be the April's review and uh, May's forecast. And we're going to have some thoughts in between uh, the slides. So, first up, the first. Uh, First, uh, the first action in first place is the dungeon, and I said that at the beginning of April, they would be somewhere between 36 and 15 points, and they ended up in thir at th with 30 points. Uh, in May, I say that they're probably going to be somewhere between 30 and 55. Uh, in second place, we have the Finstock Exchange. I said that they would be somewhere between 7 and 25 points, and they ended the month with 18 points. Uh, for May, they're going to be somewhere between 18 and 40 points and hopefully maintain uh, their second place lead. Uh, now, the Den, unfortunately, have a very low earning uh, month. Or, oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. For April, I said that they would be uh, somewhere between 6 and 18 points, and they ended the month with uh, 13 points. Now, because they got knocked out of the team's tournament, they only have somewhere they can only they only have two matches for the month so they'll only uh, they can be somewhere between 13 and 18 points uh for may so dan what is your thoughts on these uh on the where the factions stand right now well i'm honestly most interested uh to see once we get into the the next few i see uh the finstock exchange seems to have uh, performed lower than uh, the others in possible points obtained. Mm -hmm. And so I'm I'm just curious if that's going to hold true throughout, but it does look like uh, teams acquire about as much points as your models predict yeah. them to in... Yeah, so we'll, we'll see. Uh, these are the only the first three of uh, uh, the first three uh, factions. But as you're going to see... There are factions that actually scored way less. So uh, let's move on to uh, the next uh, three. Uh, so with the quirky marks, I said in April that they would score somewhere between 6 and 27 points. They ended the month with a low mm. 11 points. So it, right off the bat, it's really, really low uh, uh, compared to all the others. Uh, for May, uh, they can actually bounce back with somewhere between 11 and 35 points. Uh, the next one up is Corruption. They were in dead last uh, up until last night. Uh, and I said that they would score somewhere between 4 and 30, uh, 23 points. And they ended the month with 10 points. So as you can see, it's getting lower with mm. these high. Uh, so yeah, it, it's getting uh, it's a proving concept. So uh, for May, uh, they can't, with the team's tournament, with Deception and Corruption and uh, with the uh, contender match, number one contender match, they can earn somewhere between 10 and 39 points for May. Uh, and with the usual suspects at, for April, I said that they would score somewhere between seven and six, uh, 16 points. Uh, they score nine points, or so they end this month with nine points. So, uh, oh, and for May, they will be somewhere between nine and 29 points. So that's a 20 uh, point uh, uh, gap. But obviously, what are your thoughts uh, on the next uh, few? Uh, yeah, uh, so obviously now we're starting to see the lower ends of the graphs because mm -hmm. um, for every point the dungeon picks up, that's a point a different faction cannot pick up. Exactly. So, and as you see, like the Den, who isn't in a lot of title pictures because they took a lot of people who are up and comers, uh, they they had such a small 
possible amount of points, but they got so many of them. And now it it does look like uh, it, it does look like the race is changing a lot, and we've we've got a lot of season to play still. But we're coming up at collision soon, which is midpoint more or less. Yeah, and uh, you were uh, basically I'm telling I can tell you this right now is that the usual suspects had the lowest amount of points for April uh, for April. So for them to still stay around in uh, sixth place, that's that's pretty good because we only have two more factions, uh, the Stars and uh, uh, Swag. So the fact that they can still maintain a sixth, a sixth place and still have the lowest uh, earning for the month, that mm -hmm. says something. So obviously that's due to uh, lightning time, which we had discussed. So uh, So yeah, let's get into the Stars and Swag. So the, uh, for the stars, uh, I said in April that they can score somewhere between four and 27 points, and they end the month with eight points. So that's really, really poor. That's a 19 point deficit. They didn't get, there's 19 points that they left on the table that went to other factions. Uh, so for May, they have a chance to bounce back because uh, as you can see, they can score somewhere between eight and 40 points. Uh, so that's something that they need. They need the team's tournament. They need to succeed in the team's tournament in order to get these points. That's where the bulk of the points are, are at. Uh, and finally, with swag, this is going to be the real shocker. Uh, in April, I said that they would score somewhere between 6 and 24 points. They break even. They are actually had two TKOs, and they won a match. So that basically made them break even. So that's a really big deficit that they need to correct. So hopefully, uh, based on uh, the shenanigans that we're going to, the moves that we're having, hopefully Winston is back on course. Uh, because for May, they can score. Obviously, things don't change, but that this is where they can meet, get back because they can score somewhere between six and twenty-three points. So. With all of that, uh, now that we've gone through all the factions, uh, what are your thoughts on uh, all of this? Yeah, so uh, clearly the dungeon, uh, being in so many title contentions, is a major advantage this season compared yes. to other seasons. So that is uh, what immediately jumps out to me. Uh, then we also have, like, we we kind of have to look at some factions' performances and say they're good anyway, despite not having a lot of points. Because, like like I was saying earlier, it's it's even more obvious when you look at Swag's performance that mm -hmm. every every point another faction gains is a point you cannot. So exactly. I like obviously not everyone can hit the top of those projections. There are only so many points to go around. And it's, uh, so like while Swag did not have a good month at all, I, I could say that the stars and the suspects very much did despite accruing very little points. Yeah, and if you actually look at uh, the dens, just the dens uh, points, for March or uh, April, they actually scored a lot. I mean, they were actually in second place for most of the month, and they were they were actually looking better compared to the dungeon. If you just looked at uh, April's uh, numbers, so they actually have a good uh, they had good momentum, but obviously they lost the teams match. Uh, I, I know they lost one other match, but hopefully with Thomas Harper in the Star Wars uh, tournament. That will actually be their basically their safety net. So hopefully that they can actually uh, incur some points uh, through the Star Wars tournament. Mm. And I mean they're honestly very much expected to, based on both his performance in his debut and all of the hype behind Harper. We exactly. we expect the Den to not fall out of contention despite being out of one of the tournaments. Exactly, uh, I concur with that. You want to hear something funny? The mic wasn't on that whole time.
No way. Yeah, for real. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so smooth.